Now, government is facing mounting pressure from civil society organizations to declare a state of emergency in the fight against illegal mining activities, commonly known as Galamse. These calls have intensified due to escalating environmental degradation and severe pollution of water bodies caused by illegal mining activities. The following report provides details. Recently, groups such as the Ghana Medical Association and several other health unions urged President Akufuado to impose an immediate ban on all small-scale mining operations, both legal and illegal. Other stakeholders have also recommended declaring a state of emergency to address the Galamse crisis directly. On Channel 1 TV's current affairs program, The Big Issue, Franklin Kujo, President of Imani Africa, questioned the government's delayed response to these calls, emphasizing the urgency of the situation and urging prompt action. In any serious civilized country, the call by some of the media actors that some sort of emergency should be declared would have been listened to long ago. But this is really an emergency. It's, it's, it is, these are people who are going to be people who are going to be killed by should I call it the effluence of these uh, mining activities down the line. You saw that lady, poor old lady who said she's selling her chicken. Uh. So you think that you'll not be affected, but somewhere along the line, you may be buying a product that, has made, that must have been, you know, um, prepared with some of these uh, uh, water that's been contaminated. I expected the president. That's where leadership actually comes. There's Galavantin in China claiming to be doing what on our behalf. I don't even understand what, what, is, what is wrong with that man. Look, this is an existential threat. In fact, I even expected the National Security Minister to declare some sort of emergency already. But he's also asleep, fast asleep, more than asleep than even the president. Mm. I don't know what is happening. I In see. a serious civilized country, they should take the lead and then we follow. Mm. Declare emergency not over the entire country, but just over those areas so that it becomes a no-go area. Eco-conscious citizens view the lack of political will to tackle the Galamse menace as a serious threat to human existence. The group is calling for the arrest of Member of Parliament for Nsawam Adwejiri, Frank Anodompre, following his statement that the past and this administration polluted water bodies more than the current new patriotic party government. Aula Sewa is the coordinator for Eco-Conscious Citizens. I think the time has come for Ghanaians to be angry enough to say, you cannot poison us. You know what to do. And until you do what you should do, we'll lay down our truth. I have a view that they just don't care. If you saw the recent... Um, going on in parliament where an MP will behave like a kindergarten um, child and be talking about who has poisoned the waters more than the other. His was an admission of guilt and he should be arrested because you are saying that you have not poisoned as much as the NDC has. This is not a competition. The house is on fire. We face an existential threat. We should be solving the problem. We can solve it today if the political will were there. Unfortunately, the political will isn't there. And we the people who have a constitutional we the people who have a constitutional duty to protect and safeguard the environment have to take action now before we reach the point of no return. We are almost there. A former member of parliament for the Akutia constituency, Baba Jamal, has criticized the government Operation Vanguard initiative, which deployed military and police personnel to illegal mining areas, arguing that it has not achieved the desired results. As Baba August 2017. The suggestions I made, I made to them, quote, we need to regularize illegal mining and protect the environment. The use of gun tooting security men to chase illegal miners as part of the efforts to stop Galamzi is, of small, uh, is simply unworkable and unsustainable. This is mm. 2017 when they came and said they, were, they started with the military, they started with this, they are going into the bush. I give this advice. And you see, I gave several advices when you go there. Um, uh, he said, people who are applying for mining leases have to travel to Accra. So I, I, I suggested that they should look at the mining regime, the licensing regime. I said that the district assemblies must be involved, the involvement of the district assembly, the involvement of chiefs, the local people. I give all these advice. When they were then touting and forming the Galamsaw, forming the days or Chiman Tax Force and whatnot, I said, look, when you use that approach, you fail. But you see, the government thought that, oh, you have been there. Why didn't you do those things? Do you understand? 
So they decided to do it their own. Meanwhile, a member of the new Patriotic Party Legal Directorate denied accusations that the government has lost the fight against illegal mining. I will disagree with the fact that we have lost the battle. Mm. Um, it stems from the fact that when it comes to mining and environmental issues, it is continuum, it is ongoing. It is not going to end. It is always going to be a war or a fight. Um, it's always going to be a fight that we have to engage in. Let me remind you of several other fights we've been fighting, like drug issues, drug trafficking, and intake and whatnot. We've passed laws. Um, the, the actors will modify it, will find ways of curbing it, and it's ongoing. Um, mining has been in, in this area we're now calling Ghana for a long time. And um, there was a total ban on small scale mining until 1989, when PRDC Law 217, 218, 219 um, um, now deregularize it so that anyone can engage in it. But of course, now you have to get a license or not. A political scientist and research fellow with the Center for Democratic Development, Dr. John Osai Kwapong, has called for a coordinated leadership approach involving all sectors, including traditional authorities, to effectively tackle the issue. The question is how, you know, how strong a hand uh, do our leaders uh, want to exert? And for me, the leadership here is not even just leadership by the national level, you know, at, at a national political level. It's not your, it's not just the president, uh, it's not just members of parliament. Um, it's also uh, our local government leaders, yeah, your district chief executives, your municipal executives, uh, your traditional leaders, your chiefs. Uh, because I recall one time um, that the Utumvo, um, when he was addressing some chiefs, said, look, all of us sitting here, I'm sure we know the persons or the people who are involved uh, in this illegal activity. And then he posed the question that, um, ask yourself, what kind of chief are you if you're going to sit idly by um, and have people do galamse uh, in your area? The menace of illegal mining, otherwise known as galamse, continues to live in its trail, muddied water bodies, and depletion of forest zones across many parts of the country. Stakeholders have stressed the urgent need for government to declare a state of emergency to fight Galamse. For Channel One News, my name is Daniel Odro Mensah.